after my long day yesterday, I told the ex, you know that, I get really frustrated sometimes with you and him, and a lot of, a lot, a lot of the young men that age, because sometimes I think like, like even me with you, sometimes I think like I'm holding you back. Like Why? At, I don't know, like at 26, I want you motherfuckers to do it all. At 26, if I could do it all over again, I, I, I would do it all. I would try it all. I don't ever want you guys not to try it all. That's all you owe yourself. You really do. You really fucking do. If I could do it all over again, do you have any fucking idea? If I could make a list now of all the things I wanted to do, all the things I wanted to try. I never learned how to play the guitar. I never fucking did this. I never surfed, you know? I never did a lot of fucking things. I would try all those things, you know? Anybody could fall in love. Any fucking idiot could do, get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. But to really fucking do what the fuck you want to do, you know? And I told the Agostino, like, when I was talking to Veneri yesterday in the morning, I thought about how crazy our lives were. You know, there was no sleep. And it wasn't about drugs. It was just about... We were that close to New York. It was, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but we were inseparable. I was always with somebody. We were always going somewhere, you know? We didn't have any money. I had a couple hundred hours from selling pills or, or something. I didn't have thousands or nothing like that. You had $150 and you did things, you know? And I'm saying I didn't do all those things. I didn't do them. I wish I was fucking 26. I sit down and make a fucking list, man. And say, these are the things I'm going to try by the time I'm 32. And then when I'm 32, this is my other list, you know? And do like two things a fucking year that you really wanted to do, you know? I understand. I see what you're saying. Sometimes I feel bad. And I told the Agostino, I go, you know, I wanted to run a restaurant. I wanted to do a lot of fucking things, you know, that I didn't try. that Because I was too caught up in drugs and stupidity and being a dumb fucking criminal. That I wish I could have had the experience to do. You know, I was watching, uh, the other day I was going through the channels and Grudge Match was on, it was at the end, and Stallone went to eat and he saw the black guy they fired. And he goes, what are you doing here? He goes, man, I always wanted to be a waiter. What a better time to try, you know? People lose their jobs or they think it's the end of the world. No, that's, that's the universe telling you, this is the time to try what the fuck you want to do, regardless of what anybody fucking thinks of you. Right. Or regardless of how you live, just prepare yourself. If I was a young, like I told Diagostino, Diagostino went out and got himself another girlfriend. I love, I love her. She's a great kid. But if you really want to get into comedy, I told Diagostino, you should have came to my house and go, here, here's a hundred bucks a month. I'm going to fucking live in your closet when I'm in town. I'm going to put my shit here. I'm going to live in your fucking closet. And I'm going to go out there and enjoy comedy and travel and fucking meet people and get in the car. If I was 26 and I wanted to be a comedian, I'd get just to ride in my car, like I did for a little while, like Stanhope. Everybody wants to wonder why Stanhope was so good. Because he got in the car, he filled it with everything he would need, from granola bars, to foot warmers, to a toenail cutter, to a pillow, and he got on the road, and he went and lived his fucking dream. That's it. There was nothing holding that fucking savage back. Nothing. And I tried to duplicate that for a while. I didn't know. I didn't know that's what you had to do. But I figured in my mind that's what you had to do. You had to commit and sleep in your car and see what you go through. You know, nobody You know, nobody wants to go through that fucking nightmare. But I figured the quicker I did it, the quicker I'd get out of that zone. Ah, I lived in my car for like four or five years. It happens, you know, three years. That's why I'm doing this now. I thought about that. Because I keep, I keep getting asked now if I'm going to propose to Paula. And it's not that I want to be with anybody else, but it's just, I feel like if I'm going to do this, I can't, I couldn't do it if I was married or had a kid, or it'd be harder to. So it's one of the reasons. Paula's a good lady. Paula's yeah. got how much longer in school? A year and a half. A year and a half. And then another year of uh, fucking working under somebody taking shit. That's two and a half years before Paula's even going to see daylight. You know what? What's she going to do with you anyway? What's she going to do with you for uh, the first year out of college? You're going to be working 80 hours. She right. might as well be staying at her mother's house. You know, I mean, seriously. I mean, I, listen, if you're in love and you're going to get married at 25 or 26, you know, I want you to be in love. Don't get married because you think you got to get married. No, it could be any time. I'm can, not anywhere near ready for You can marry that. a motherfucker any fucking time, you know, and that's what, hey, it works for different people. 
it doesn't work for everybody. Right. You know, it didn't work for me, you know, but I didn't, how much effort did I put into my fucking marriage? Not much. I was a stupid 26 year old. I thought, oh, all you gotta do is fucking pay rent and she'll do the laundry and cook your meal. <laughs> gotta put work into your fucking marriage, you yeah. know? I'm not ready for she, And she's really cool about it. She's, she doesn't really. No, ah, what the fuck she doing? It, she yeah. knows. You got no time right now. You got shit to do and you gotta make your way. Who wants to marry a brokester anyway? Right. You don't wanna fucking marry her and then realize you gotta go back to editing six days a fucking week. Right. Right? You only do it and then nobody's seeing nobody. Nobody's seeing nobody, and then what, what? What? Then that's the that's the beginning of the fucking end. Yeah, that's the beginning of the end. Her job is going to be minimal. Like her light week is going to be sixty hours a week. Yeah. Until she starts making penis, and she could choose and pick clients and until she picks her practice. I mean, it doesn't. It's going to be you know, sixty hours a week minimum. Yeah. Right or wrong, minimum. Probably, and yeah. then once she gets going, yeah, she'll have two hours in the afternoon to come see Lee and give him a little stuff. He can get juice on his helmet. <laughs> but until then, you know, you're focused, man. Right. You're focused right now, you know, and that's why I was telling Dennis, I'm going to talk to Lee. Go for it, Lee. You want to do another podcast? 